Lopez and Pastor Werner, please proceed to table two. You have eight minutes to start your match. Milton Damina, Rico Rompanen, please proceed to table 11. Okay, guys, welcome back. We're here at the Predator World Eight, Predator WPA World Eight Ball Championships. This is a loser side match between Joey Tate and Pius Labudis. This is Eric Horlifson here with Ben Belhassen. Pleased to be with you guys tonight. Hey, good evening. Yeah, pretty much two two young guys, but the American Joey Tate is, I think, he's 18 or 19. Yeah, maybe? he's still in the junior tournament, which is going to start on Thursday. Yeah, yeah. He had a really tough first round match. I, I commentated the match actually. Alexa Pissel, yeah. broken ran six of the eight games and five in a row at one point. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, absolutely. When actually started play. out the match, didn't make a ball. Yeah. Pissel ran out and broken ran five. Yeah, this is tough to overcome. You have to stay focused, patient if you have opportunities, but then sometimes you don't. Yeah, he's up for another, another challenge here with Labudis. Yeah. Always recently take his game to the next level, and uh, yeah, he's had he some high finishes in match room tournaments. Been playing a lot of tournaments on the circuit for the last three years. Yeah, and uh, he's he's always been like in the junior tournaments. He's a European junior champion. He's been playing for a long time. Solid player mm -hmm. on the tour. Good to see him having some su success at the men's level. From Lithuania, correct? Yeah, absolutely. And as you said, he, he traveled a lot, a lot the last two, three years, practicing. He's a serious guy, hard worker, so he deserves the results he had. And also, he's a complete player because he knows he knows to play every game. I mean, one he also play one pocket straight pool. Yeah, he spent some time in the States. I'm sure yeah. he picked some stuff up there. Mm -hmm. Going from the middle here, which is more of the offensive break, see if he can get something going. Yeah. Usually get a big pop. Very quiet queuing action mm -hmm. here. You see players kind of pump at the break a little more when they're hitting that box break. But he's yeah. nice and quiet there. Hit it well, didn't get one though. A lot of balls up table here. Yeah. 11 balls on the upper half of the table. Yeah, that was a good break. A little bit off, just a little bit, but that was a powerful break. It didn't pay off. Yeah, as you said, a lot of traffic around the head strings up table, so. 11's a good opener here. Gonna have to work his way back towards the 15. Might leave the 15 till last because it's lying near the 8. Yeah. And still the 14 is giving him the 12. Eventually moving over for the 9, which will lead into the 13. Yeah, yeah, because he has a slightly angle on the on the 14. I don't know if he could hold it to, to get to the 12. Yes, okay. That's nice. So now the 10 ball passes the 6. And the 9 is giving him the 13. Yeah, the, the only tricky situation is to go up table to get the last stripe. 
eight pockets in both pockets. It's a little tight past the seven, but it is available yeah. past the mm -hmm. seven. It could have been good to do nine, 13, and 10. That's what I was thinking, but he's going to have to go 10 first now. Yeah. Mm. Can draw for the nine in the corner here, maybe, if he has too much angle to draw straight back for the nine. Yeah, right. Pardon me, the 13 in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Stop the cue ball here, get an angle to draw diagonally back towards the nine. Shot you see in rotation a lot, not as much an eight ball. Yeah. But mm -hmm. Nerves look pretty steady there. The camera was zooming in over <laughs> his back arm. He's not shaking or anything, so he's feeling comfortable. Yeah, is th that's the second round, so we might get used to the TV table now. He's played a lot for for his age. He's, he's yeah. played in the US Open a few times, almost beat Shane in the US Open. Yeah, yeah. That was a good shot here to go one and two rears around the three. Yeah, I had to make sure the three didn't get in the way there. Hit it perfectly. Yeah. Good opening rack for Tate. Yeah. See how he handles the break on the next rack. Yeah, he only broke once against um, Alexa. Uh, Alec yeah, against mm -hmm. Alexa, I believe he broke from the side rail. Yeah, I saw most of the players here are breaking from the side. And uh, I didn't see yet a player breaking on the second ball, which is sometimes a break that could work when you wreck balls. With a template, yeah. Game. Yeah, so yeah the, if you're going to go for that second ball break, you want that corner ball to be going in, in the rack. Yeah. Other than that, you're really sacrificing yeah. a lot of traffic that's going to likely happen yeah, after yeah. the break. But then I think players choose to break from the side to try to consistently make the top ball. Sure. Yeah, if you're hitting a head ball. Yeah. 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 I saw Nick Vandenberg try it this morning. One, yes. one player I saw hit second ball once. Just like you could do with nine ball with the break box. You know, yeah. Try to get the, the top ball on the side. but Looks like that's what he's going for yeah. here. He can like kind of manipulate the top ball using English a little bit. Uh, yeah. Almost got it. A little yeah. long of the pocket. Oops. 14 is going to go, but the cue ball got kicked yeah. in. So that's an opportunity Go for Pius to try it up the score. Unlucky roll, really. Got kicked twice yeah. there. Mm. So he has to play from the head string and shooting a ball in front of the head string should be he's kind of looking backwards probably just mm. figuring out what's going on at that end of the table yeah the eight ball is locked and he is thinking about playing that strike yeah and then get to the two stripes just towards the eight Players have a little more time to think out uh, on the first shot after the break. They have an extra 60 seconds. Yeah. But then the stripes, if you choose the stripes, then the nine ball is in a really bad spot. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the main problem, I guess. Yeah. It's getting kind of near the end of his shot clock, so he's moving around a little quicker. Make sure yeah, he doesn't yeah. get right down to the end of it. Mm. So we choose to play this, but then you'll have to deal with the nine ball. Decided to go right at it right away. Yeah. Draw back for the nine, but it made him miss the 15. Yeah. It's really tough to play 30 seconds eight ball, really. You really have to have your, your mind clear. And uh, that's part of the you have to save a part of your energy to to keep your mind clear and uh, just overall playing with a shot clock you know pl player I, I saw players talking about actually developing an app that you could kind of practice with a shot yeah, clock yeah. on your own you know it's it's a new skill that's coming into the game 
Yeah. And I think it's you know it's great for the game overall. No one wants to sit watch players sit around for two minutes and, yeah, and then make a decision, right? So I think it's good that it's become a mainstream thing yeah. in major tournaments. Right. And it's also practicing with the shot clock leads you to to give your game a little bit more of unconscious to let it go, you know. To to go into the action instead of thinking a little bit too much. Sure. Yeah. So a lot of the times your first instinct is the right instinct, right? Yeah. Eight only pe only goes in the side pocket, but he can use the one to get onto the eight. Yeah, he could also bump the five now, playing the seven. Which could be I a good option. I think he will. Just like that, so that now the five is really, really in a good spot. Three or the five, by okay for getting onto the one. Yeah. It's a little straight on the four, so it's going to be a little bit tougher to move the cue ball. And yeah. He decided to go with the three here. And that's going to yeah. lead him back into the one, which will make it tougher to get back for the eight. But we'll yeah, see how it. he manages mm -hmm. the rest of the rack here. I think he should have taken the risk to play the four ball, even though it was a thick hit and it was frozen onto the rail. But now the four ball is out of the pattern and he has to go back and forth. Yeah, it would have made the rest of the rack easier. I guess he just didn't like the fullness of the shot. Mm. Well, the, the five ball is giving him the four, so you just have to make the one to roll it one rail. Oh, no, he's going to... Oh, wow. Interesting. A little risky, and that's the yeah. risk in that shot. I thought the eight ball was passing. It did pass on the side, but I guess he just got to a point thinking that Whoa. that okay. was his best option. And now he's in trouble. No shot here. And, and yeah, and it's, he really, it's really difficult at this stage of the rack to find something... Yeah, you have to kick it in. If yeah. you're outnumbered like this, you know, yeah. just, just for you guys watching at home, you can never play safe in this spot because yeah. your opponent, it's too easy for your opponent to play safe back against yeah. you. Yeah, that was a good try. Yeah. Good attempt, but... It was makeable, plus you had shape on the four, so that was a good attempt, but... Can't quite tell if the 15 goes on the side. If it does, it'll, it'll make the overall run out easier. Still has lots of options to open up the 15 if it doesn't. Yeah. yeah, I think the 15 goes. I think so. If he's not really making a plan to get at it in the first three balls here, which it looks like he's not, he's just going to shoot it last, kind of go 12. Yeah. Can't tell if that's the 11 or the 13 over there and then shoot the 15 last. Yeah, the 12 is not actually giving him the, um, the 11. It's a little bit high and the five ball is there. I'm curious to see how they're going to deal with... Maybe he's going to be straight in on the 12 and then follow to play the 11 on the side also. I think so. What a view. This camera is really nice. Yeah. Yeah, he find himself. Mm. Well, he has to change his plan. He doesn't have the good angle. Can he have to see a view of the table? If Thirteen does or the eleven doesn't go in the same in the pocket past the five. Yeah. Roll that out. He can kill it. No. He's tried to weave wow. in between the two this and he did it perfectly. Nice yeah. shot. Mm. This is really like tip position control on the cue ball because the stun is tough to control. Yeah, played it with a little bit of right too to check yeah. the angle of it. And still he's not he's not out. As he has to jack up to draw this ball, I think. Just a hair, but yeah, yeah, he hit it perfect. Good shot. Straight enough to come straight back as well, I think. He's looking at it like he might have too much angle going to the yeah, right. on the other side, yeah. Mm, just barely, but I feel like you can cheat the thick part of the pocket here and stay on the proper side of the eight. Yeah, I think so.
Okay. Why not? He found himself with a powerful break on the previous rack. On the first rack, I mean. Yeah. Didn't make a ball, but... I, I feel like he can stick with that one yeah. if that's his game plan. Hit it, hit it well. Yeah, that's the point. Professional players work on different breaks, but you have to be able to switch from one to another if it's not working as soon as possible. I mean, one or two tries. And if you see you make two dry breaks, then you have to switch. Yeah. So... Budas actually lost 8-7 in, the, in the, his first round match to Daniel Gutenberger. So yeah, close match there. Yeah, I stick with the same break. Opposite side of the table, though, I think was he on the other side last oh, time. Oh, uh, it was it was on the right side. I think so. Yeah, because the break was really powerful. Yeah. Hit it well again. Yeah. Lots of movement again. Wow. I know shot. No again, balls. 10 balls past the bottom two diamonds. Wow. This is crazy. He had the same power break and the same pop as Shane when he plays like when he plays this break. Yeah. Like powerful. He goes the cue ball goes back almost to the head string. Oh, he had yeah. a great. Yeah. And now he needs to think on the next break. What's he going to do because he hit it Two breaks, really good. Didn't didn't make a ball. I'm sure, he's practiced the side break as well, so yeah. he'll be considering that. Wow, and the 14 ball is really locked. Yeah, he's gonna have to. He's gonna have a chance to open it up with the 13, maybe. Okay. Yeah, actually, it's not it's not the end of the world to to miss early in such a tough rack. You know, yeah. You let your open and go and, and see what he does, but... The one's going to lie good for breaking out the 2-4 here. Yeah. Biggest problem after that is going to be the 7. Yeah. Yeah, but actually, does he have... A yeah, the only solid he can choose is the 3 ball, I think. The 6 is up table oh. there. His body's blocking it right now, but he can oh, shoot yeah. the 6. He's going to go stripes, though. Hmm. Yeah, at least he has to create an angle on the one to be on the right side of the one to go into the three balls on the short rail, staying on the four, on the five, sorry. Yeah, I think he's thinking about taking the 11 and then using the 13 to open up the 14, or maybe, oh, the, okay. or maybe even the nine. Yeah. Yeah, then if you take the solids, then... Didn't really get into his breakout position here. Yeah. So now he'll play the combo, I think. But yeah, the rack is really tricky because you, yeah, you, you don't have, you really don't have a, a ball that could lead you to the 14. Yeah, it's gonna have to rely on the 10. See how it comes yeah. out here. Yeah. Maybe you create a little angle to go there. Yeah. It doesn't have that much of an angle, but. Kind of like a delayed follow almost. Yeah. I mean, stun. Yeah. Nice like shot. That. That's good. Okay. Does he have a shot? Might have to be the 12. 12 on the side, yeah. Over top of the 5 makes it even tougher. Yeah. Position's not great off the 12 either. Oh, 15 ball passes, or he plays, you know, he plays the, com he plays the combo, right? Yeah, yeah, it's tough. Yeah. And their shot clock. Yeah. Tough spot there. Yeah, but actually, I think he thought that by taking this pocket, then the three ball is in trouble, and then the two ball also on on the short rail is blocked. So yeah, he owns that pocket for sure. And Tate's either gonna have to move those balls or get the cue ball in very small yeah. positions to pocket both of them. Yeah, he can right now going there, going all 
all the way down the table. He created an angle, yeah, maybe he's gonna play the seven to create an angle on the four to go there. But then... Five still gotta go yeah, before the two. Yeah, before the two, yeah, so... You could actually power into it right now off the four. A lot of options here. Yeah. Uh, you want to make sure that the seven is not getting all alone here. So it's good to get rid of the seven right now. But now I think he can't go into the two directly. And if he goes into the two stripes uh, hanging, then you have a risk to scratch. You I like going into the stripe. I think he played for that. Yeah. Then the three ball still made a bit of progress, but the three still tough here. Yeah. And I don't know if he can play the five. From there, it's tough to say. Yeah. Might, might have to swerve it, but the five's yeah, nice and close bit. to the pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. He create too much of an angle on the two. No, it's still okay. He could play the two, but then play the two and run into the three with no insurance ball and stuff. Yeah. So if he plays the two, then he has to make sure he plays the three after. So he has to control the cue ball and the three, which is not easy. You could try to get on the one and then manipulate, manipulate the cue ball into the short side of the three, but that's tough as well. Yeah, he could even bank the one towards the 14 if he doesn't have shape to play the three the next. Yeah, the problem doing this is that you lose control of the three. Yeah. Got a shot on the one, though. He did, yeah. did decently well here. Yeah. I mean, he's on a thin thin cut here. It's yeah. missable, but... Yeah, he can go back and forth. Gave him... Yeah. yeah, sorry. Gave himself a chance to run out in a tough rack. Tough shot. Yeah, tough ball. shot. Yeah. Have to really stay down and focus on the cue ball and deliver a good smooth stroke to make those type of shots. Force the slow roll this. Stay yeah. down well. This is really a technical sport. I mean, the technique should be perfect to to perform under pressure matches like this. A little sharp in the side. He'll be okay in the corner. Cue ball, yeah. cue ball can go far enough forward. Interesting rack yeah. there. Yeah, PS absolutely. Actually, Joe, Joe, Joe take, made good choices. And when he went into those two stripes, but then he missed the cut. That happens, but choices were, were good, actually. You were right. It was a good choice to go to the stripes. Gonna have lots of action all, all week for you guys. Uh, the Women's World 10 Ball starting tomorrow. The Junior World Championships are on Thursday. This is stage one of the men's event. They're playing down in the final 32, and then it's gonna be a single knockout. There's 32 players left on the winner's side of the men's bracket. And a lot of matches going on right now to get down to the final 32 on the winner's side, which will be played out tomorrow as well. Yeah, this is really nice events. You have under 19, under 17 boys. You have girls, women's 10 ball. A total of five world championships here. And how many world champions in the room? Probably 25. Some of the best in the world are here. Most of the best in the world. See, he switch. Yeah. 
Oh, oh so he cut that on yeah, purpose. That was the, well, we made the eight. <laughs> huh, in the top pocket, yeah. and only the eight. Mm. Yeah, that was a good break. Oh, he hit second yeah, ball. Yeah, second we, ball, was, yeah. I, I was thinking he cut it off the head ball and hit second ball. So he has that in his game plan as well. Yeah, yeah. we were talking about this just uh, before the match, that nobody, uh, I didn't see anybody, any player break on the second ball. Mm -hmm. Here's the first. With good results. Just as an interesting side note, if you're ever in a spot where you're, you're, you're trying to make the ball, uh, the eight on the break, the second ball will get the eight moving more often than yeah. the other breaks. It's more often you make it on the side, but. Yeah. Good opener there, moving things around a little bit. Yeah, actually, that was the only shot he had. Only shot left now is the 10. Yeah, it looks like. Going to have to move some balls again. Maybe, Maybe just nudge the, the, the 9 and stay on the, the stripe. Just, yeah, like it's this. It's a good shot. Yeah, stay on the 15. <coughs> Still work to do. Just understand that he's not just playing to hit the 9 there. He's playing to hit a certain side of the 9, so yeah. the 9 ends up in a safe place. And he executed it perfectly. Right. So now the shot would be to play the 10 and to go two rails to maybe to the two balls over there. Yeah, key the to the rest. Yeah, yeah, key to the rest of the rack is getting in, in the cue ball in an area where we can shoot the 13 or 14 in the side, probably yeah. both in the same pocket. Yeah, maybe, th maybe you play one rail to play the 13. I don't mind taking care of this ball now because if you left it late for later on, yeah, could have lied a little weird. So he's going to draw up the rail oh. here. He did have an option to come yeah. across table, but yeah, drawing's fine as well, avoiding avoiding more traffic. traffic yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, and he has the two lines here. If you go if he goes a little bit further, you could have played the thirteen. Yeah, kind of got in between. I think yeah. he can figure out something on the 14, but... He kind of hit the 50-yard line. Yeah, I would have preferred the 13 here. Good stroke. Yeah. Can come three rails around now for the eight. Well, Buddhist has a... A bit of a shorter, I'll watch out for the speed here. It's okay, right into the angle, didn't matter. Labutus, Labutus has a bit of a shorter backstroke, but he times it real well. Yeah. That, and that's a nice skill, you know? If you can keep your short stroke, but still not rush it, it's yeah. gonna be a very effective stroke overall. Filler kind of borders yeah. on that type of stroke as well. Now actually, when you look at top players, they all have a kind of stay compact on its whether on the last backswing. We're just gonna go to break here. We'll be right back. the better player will still win. This Temple to win the title he is your champion. You will champion. champions
Okay, guys, welcome back. We're here with Pius Labudis and Joey Tate. Labudis leads the match three to one. This is a loser side match. Labudis broke from the middle of first two breaks and second ball on the third break. Ran out on the third one. Yeah, it went pretty good. It has a pretty good hit on the second ball, but. Doesn't seem like there's any magic formula to the break yeah. here, you know? Everyone's trying different things, and I think it's just finding one that happens to work at that time, you know? Yeah, but as you said, it's a kind of unpredictability. The seven could have gone there. Yeah. The seven, if the cue ball didn't end up in that specific yeah. spot there, the seven would have gone in the corner. He's hitting all the breaks well. He's giving himself a chance to make a ball. Yeah. Yeah, for the moment, for all, we, we, we saw only Alexa breaking consistently good and consistently making balls. I heard Tyler had a good match on one of the outside yeah. tables. I heard he, he broke in round seven overall in, in, in the set, which wow. is, yeah, huge. I think Francisco ran a, a yeah. few racks in his match, yeah, yeah. too. It's going to have to develop the eight at some point here. Yeah. Could consider banking it. Yeah. If he's eliminated this many balls, he might go with the bank option. Yeah, because that's not really a, a solid that could open the eight and stay on a safety shot, say on, on an insurance ball. So maybe, maybe we'll try to bank this one, yeah. One's tougher than it looks here. Really only passes the 12, passes the, passes into the side on a tight spot. Yeah. It's gonna be able to run into the 12 here and maybe play the one into the side. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. Maybe he has the, I think it's the three ball up table. Yeah. Gonna have to move the cue ball more for the bank though. If he takes the one next. Okay, so he really has the option now to bang the eight, and that's it. Could go three, six, one, really, if you're if you're worried about getting the cue ball kind of on a perfect bank angle, yeah. but you'd have to get a good angle on the one as well. Should lie okay though. Yeah. Stay stay below the six here. Move the cue ball back towards the one. Stroke, yeah. yeah, his stroke is developing nice. He's, he's going to be a, has a bright future in the game for sure. Mm. The Q action is really, really important here. Yeah. Balls are heavy. I was going to say he doesn't want to go past it. I think he's straight enough that he can hold. He's actually pretty good there. Yeah, yeah. he is good. Because you don't mind having a bit of a back cut angle here just to make sure you don't leave the double kiss on the bank as yeah. well. Actually, it's uh, for bank pool players, it's it's kind of a easy bank. It's called a hanger in bank yeah. pool. <laughs> yeah. A little too much, but he yeah. can still make it. Yeah. Tendency on this one would be to under bank the angle. Yeah. Not judging how much the... Object ball's gonna check off the rail. We are playing on new cloth though. Yeah, so. the thing is, he maybe he has to use left, a little bit left to to counter the the stun effect. Yeah, I like using left on this, these type of banks. Nice yeah, head. That's a good, good that's out. A good one. Yeah, the city English. That was a good rack there. He was playing the bank from the beginning. He yeah. recognized that it was too tough to open up the eight. Good decisions. Yeah. Can't remember what state he's from. There's certain states they play a lot of eight ball. I want to say he's from California. Someone correct me in the chat if I'm, if I'm wrong yeah. on that one. But if he is from California, they don't play as much eight ball out there. But in the, in the south and in the Midwest, they play a lot. A lot of bar table eight ball. Yeah. And that's a different story because with the traffic, you're playing on the small table, so it's a different feel overall. But you're getting an idea, you're getting you're getting an idea of how to run the patterns, kind of, you know. Yeah. Like, this game takes experience, and it's actually tougher to play on a seven-foot table, eight ball. I mean, because y you need to have a cue ball control, which is perfect, because you don't have m much space in between the balls. Pockets are 
good you're not going to miss the ball because there are no long shots or tough shots but then you have to manipulate the cue ball really good strategical to find, game to find windows yeah along with the side rail break here hit him decently kind of hit him at a cut angle where he was trying to make that head ball on the side yeah came up dry though this is frustrating but that's part of the game yeah he hit it pretty good yeah i feel like if he missed the if he Cue ball went to the right like that. He was probably trying to play that break, and that you know, playing the cue ball to the right like that favors the head ball going in the side. Yeah. yeah it looks like everything is open. It's the decently tempo. open. Yeah. yeah. Tempo passes the six, so you have to find a way to make the nine and go somewhere in the center of the table, maybe. Because the 15, the, the 14, sorry, is quite of an issue because you could go out at one rail here. He did. Yeah. He tried to get straighter, yeah. but it's okay in the corner. Good shot. Okay, so the 11 is giving him the 15. 15 is giving him the 12. So you have to find a way to go to the 12, from the 12 to the 10. It's possible if he wants, he could try to shoot the 15 second last. I, I totally hear you about trying to get on it now. He's going to end up doing that. I don't know if he played it like that. I, I would assume he wouldn't have stunned it yeah. if, if, he didn't, if he wasn't trying to play it second last. Just got him, and th this is fine. He's just got to yeah. be very good with the cue ball here. These are the shots that are challenging an eight ball. You know, getting the cue ball into a real small spot yeah. here. Like, if you're playing rotation here, you can be anywhere, you know, yeah. space of six inches. You, know, you just manipulate the cue ball. But here, he had to get pretty straight, and he did. Yeah, enough he to the point where he could use the seven. Good run out. Got a little too much angle here, but he can yeah. slow roll it in. Yeah, he can kill the cue ball here. That was a good shot. Kind of playing the object ball into the inside rail there too is a strong play. Yeah. That rail plays a lot softer at that speed. Both players playing pretty well. Tight match here. Labutus takes the early kind of advantage, four to two. Yeah, he broke the balls a little bit better also. See if he is going to keep on breaking on the second ball. Yeah, he's he's one for four overall on the break. He's yeah. one for two on the second ball. Mm. So I don't know if he has a third one he wants to try, <laughs> but the thing was he was actually hitting the one from the center very well too. He just didn't make a ball. So yeah. it's tough to know. I guess you could try head ball. Like from head, the side, he, head ball from the side yeah. rail, yeah. He's lining up for second ball again. Yeah, it looks like go deep draw. This is not easy. This is a technical break. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, went head ball. <laughs> yeah. Full this ball. So finally, he tried another break. He hit it really good. It didn't work out. Yeah. Yeah. Tied up rack, though, which will generally happen a little more, breaking from the side rail. Whoa. This is not easy layout. Yeah, eight balls tied up. And opening it, shots yeah. are even tough. Mm. I think he has the six. That's gonna six go at the, the eleven. Yeah, or even the fifteen also. 15, yeah. yeah, but thirteen is gonna be an issue for stripes yeah. if he does that. Mm. 
Nice down the line shot there from the Predator crew. Mm. Made it look easy. Cue ball's trending into the 8-13 here, or the 8-11 yeah. down there. Yeah, and he, he could play the 10 or the 12 after. So, oh, even the 9. Yeah. Which is even better. So maybe he's going to keep the 13 and bank it. Is it another bank play? Yeah. It kind of has to be. I mean, he can he can use the 10 to get into the 13. Yeah, right. And actually the 12 lies good for that. You know, you'd, you'd be breaking out a ball with only two left, but the way he's going to be able to break it out, the cue ball should stop for the 15. But he's got, yeah, he got funny here. Had to believe he was playing for the 12 there, just yeah. misjudged the speed. Good fundamentals, good routine shot. Yeah, I can see the pre-shot routine there. Nice hit. Shot's a lot yeah. tougher than it looks. A little bit yeah. of quiet applause there from Labudas. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Gonna so have to be a bank on the 13 now, though. There's just not enough balls left. Yeah. Can't risk breaking it out on the last shot. Yeah, the thing is, then bank the, thir the 13 to go to the 8. The cue ball's kind of going the wrong way. Yeah. I see that. It's not going to be easy. Looked like he was actually eyeing up the 15 to get an angle to maybe go into it. And there's not really anything in the middle of the table. So if he does open it up near the middle, he should get some kind of shot. Got to get a very small angle here, though. I think it's too much going to the left. Yeah, uh, I think it's so. It's close. Yeah, it's close. From here, it's hard to say. I guess if you played it with some right spin, that would help, too. He's going at it pretty quick, so yeah, yeah he might have the, he does have the angle. Mm, I still believe it's too much. Too far to the left, maybe. He got into it. Way. What a shot. Yeah, Very nice. Good. Great. Perfect angle to come down oh, for the yeah. eight. Great rack there. Mm -hmm. Started from a very tough starting position. Broke out two mm -hmm. balls. Stayed in line. Made a nice jacked up shot. He actually took Fedor to the shootout in the last Predator Pro Series. Oh, really? Yeah, and I think the, the shootout score was 6-4. 5 5-4, uh, pardon me. Yeah, that was a good run out, and the match is tying up. Very few mistakes from both players. Nice position play, good decisions. Had a few upsets today. I mean, there's a lot of good players here. They can all beat each other, but Shane Van Boning lost his first round match. Chang Yu Lun. Yeah. Theodore Gorse had a tight one at 8 6 with Stephen Holm from Canada. Yeah, I mean, th those kind of tournaments are. Players from this level, they are short races. I mean, it's, yep. it's tough to. You know, you don't have that time to, to think too much. Because all of a sudden, then your opponent is running like two to three racks, and then you are four games behind. And this is really high pressure matches. Yeah. Cleo Cacci had a close one with Josh Filler as well, 8 6. Mm -hmm. Cleo Cacci will be in the junior tournament as well. Can look for the, those Tate and him to be near the final of their divisions. Yeah. Made the head ball on the side there. Flipped another one in. Good, solid break. Good impact. Stays really down on the table. That's the break he's looking for. Yeah. Head ball straight in mm -hmm. the side. Mm, can he play the four ball? I think he can. And I feel like he's straight enough to take a yeah. shot at drawing straight back into the three. Yeah, because the three is looks. Queuing's tough though. Tough yeah. to get a lot of draw energy out of this ball. Can use the five on the second shot to do to get back into yeah. the three. 
But then the thing is, yeah, he might have a cut on the two or even on the one as an insurance ball. Yeah, he's going to have three three solids left. I mean, part of the rack is that, that seven barely goes to half the pocket at most. Yeah. He'll have an option to maybe get on the short side of it. We'll see how this one turns out, though. I like going into these kind of breakouts with a little more speed. Yeah. Yeah, this is not an easy one though because it's a cut and then you have to use a little bit of a stun maybe above center with a, with a touch of right yeah it's not a natural angle yeah i hit it yeah. too thick that happens when you're focused on the cue ball where the cue ball is going and then you you forget about focusing on the angle and make the ball. A lot of speed too yeah. and hitting some right spin. The cue ball just over deflected on him. Just, not, just right. barely overcut it. Jumped up a little bit. Stripes are pretty open here. Yeah. 13's got to go before the 11 but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah. He has absolutely to get on the ball on the side. I don't know if he has it. Looks like he has. It's close. Yeah, it's close. If he doesn't, it's hard to say if he has enough of the 14, but even yeah. then he has enough of the 9, so he'll figure something out here. Mm. From here, it's tough to say, but... I mean, it's close enough that he has to get down on his knees to look at yeah. the angle. Maybe with a little bit of inside. Yeah, left would help in this case. Mm. Yeah, he is yeah. going left. Left, because the inside is going to throw a little bit of the 10. Yeah. Wanted to get on the 14 there, but he <laughs> ended up being perfect on the 12, so that'll do. Yeah. Might have to play the 11 9 combo, but he can manage that as well. Eh, I'd probably just get maybe stay on the short side of the 11 yeah. after shooting the 9. I think he was happy to be like dead straight on the 12 to sure. get rid of this one. Yeah. Nice pattern here where he's barely moving the cue ball within four shots. It's always what you want to look for in eight ball. Mm -hmm. Okay, one rail back to the same pocket. This is kind of a reference position play two rails to the center of the table. Yeah, back into the angle. Going to go for a quick break after this rack. Labutus leads 5-3. Been a great match so far. We'll see you guys back in very soon. Hey guys, we're back here. Laputus to break, switching sides actually. He's broke second ball a few times. This is smart because he tried everything. Yeah, no kidding. Second ball from that side. Yeah, and softer with the draw. Didn't get one. Yeah. Mm. 
brakes just eluding him here. But at least he's, he's trying. He does. He really does his best to try to to manipulate something to have good result with the brake. Yeah. He's obviously practiced for this tournament. He's confident enough for trying four different types of brakes in mm. one match. Tate's looking at it, opening up the eight here. Yeah. He might shoot the 14 after that. He's using speed. Opened up the eight, only got on one stripe. Oh, it's not a 14. Which, no, which will be okay. Yeah. It's the 15. One almost tied up the 10, but the 10 still is available for sure in one side pocket. I want to say both, but it's pretty tight in the one closest to him right now. Yeah. Making the 15 is going to gonna give him the 14 maybe next. Oh, the shot oh. clock might have got him yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Shot clock was going off just as he was shooting. And then he got he got out of position and he jumped up a little bit. Didn't stroke it good. Moving his head a little bit. Actually, didn't leave anything. Does the seven pass the twelve? He's the he's might not. Yeah. So he's gonna get has to get so desperate that he's playing the one off the ten. Can't really play safe. Tate has too many stripes left on the table. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, maybe he's gonna play the one off the ten. So this shot takes a lot of knowledge because it, it, the way the one is going to come off the ten is affected by whether you hit it with high or low. So yeah. you want to feel the thickness that you're playing the one off the ten, and you want to decide what kind of even left or right. Yeah, sure. You want to decide what kind of contact point you want on the cue ball as well. It's going with middle, so I guess he feels it's pretty natural if he hits it. It's mm -hmm. Oh, we hit cut it, it in. Wow. Okay, I miscalled that one. Sorry, guys. What, but <laughs> what a shot Great that was. Great shot, yeah. yeah. From where we are, it was, it's tough to see. If it just looked like he was lining it up off the 10. Great shot, though. Wow. That's a catch. So now he might use the 5 to reach the 4. And the three. He's picked up his pace a lot in the last kind of five five to six turns of the table, except for the one, which was a tough shot, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But when he's in line, he's kind of speeding up. I guess he's just kind of deciding that he doesn't want, want to bring the shot clock yeah. into play, just go with instinct a little more. This is a smart shot because actually he played the two-way shot. I mean, he played the zone. And that's not happening often in eight ball when you could play he can even do it again here, yeah. side or corner. Yeah. Great opening shot by Labudis. Yeah. Stayed in line the rest of the rack. Just got a little straight here. So you're just thinking about having to be a little further from the seven than what he wants. Cue ball might barely be running into the 14. It's okay there. Kept it away from the rail enough that he doesn't ele have to elevate too much. I like his composure. I mean... I do too. Yeah. Stays calm. can tell he's comfortable in the big spots now. Good rhythm. He accumulated a lot of experience in the last two years. Was he in Vietnam or did he did he play the European tour? Did, do you know? Mm. Do you know which was the last tournament he played? Tate's going for a break here. What do you mean in Europe? Just there was some big tournaments last weekend or last two weeks. I don't know if he went to any of them. If he went to Qatar, uh, or I think he went to uh, Vietnam. Okay. Yeah, he did. Uh, the events over there, and before he was in the States. Yeah, there were lots of tournaments with the China Open, uh, the Qatar Open. Yeah. 
A lot of big tournaments. Yeah, 75,000 first prize here too, playing for a good, good prize fund over here. And the title of World 8 Bowl Champion. Sure, yeah. We were talking earlier today that Shane is, would be eye eyeing this title. I mean, it wasn't held for 10 years too, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, from. Opportunities to win it weren't as much for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Chan Jung Lin won it in 2012. And then you had a 10 year yet, just I think. Yeah. Players are allowed one break per match. Small commercial breaks after every four games. We're in a great game nine here. Players are just coming back into the arena here. Tate's taking a little break, kind of composing himself. Knows he's no, knows it's kind of do or die now. Losers bracket match here, so the loser goes home. If Tate doesn't get through this match, he'll still have the World Juniors to start on Thursday. Yeah, we also have the women ten ball starts tomorrow. Mm -hmm. First two rounds. 48 women started in the women's events and 24 juniors started in both junior divisions. Okay, back to the other side. Yeah. What do you think, head ball or second ball? 50-50 chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really tough to say because he's, he's going deep into the ball, so I would go for the head ball yeah. this time. Second. Uh, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Mate two though. Yeah, that's nice. I don't know if he has the, if the seven ball passes the three, if he has a solid to start. I feel like it does. I feel like it will. And that is a good starter. Lies well into the two into the two. Lies well into the three as well, but I feel like you want to get rid of the two. It's kind of blocked by the ten. Yeah. Okay, clear run out here. The six ball is a little high, but it's going to give him the four. One's so actually the toughest uh, yeah. stripe on the table. It does pass the five. Probably try to play an angle on the three where he can shoot the one after the five. Yeah, you're right. Sometimes or you have the ball the right in the middle of the table, and it, then it's the the ball which leads you to a problem, to a kind of an issue. Because yeah, I think you're right. It passes the it passes the five, so. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. Even in rotation, the, the balls in the middle kind of play into scratches a little more. It's, it's just they're further from the pocket. Yeah, I mean, it's not as relevant ball in the middle of the table leading into a scratch and able because typically you wouldn't move the cue ball as much. But uh, he's not shooting it now. Hmm. 
I mean, he got too far from it, I guess. Yeah. I think he kind of play like a zone where he could play the five and the one maybe now. Yeah, that's true. The one goes up in the even longer corner pocket as well. I think he'll shoot it in the long pocket. Not now. He'll try to get a little better on yeah, it. Yeah. Five first. Could draw up the rail and try to get it into the shorter pocket. Kind of like the top right pocket, but I don't think it's worth it. Just move the cue ball less here. Yeah. Just one rail. Like that. Got good on it. See him going back to the same break, next break. He was really successful on, yeah. on this one. He's in a groove. He's played really well the last five games. Yeah. Yeah, actually, maybe two, two mistakes from Tate. Yeah, missed the five in the corner there. I can't remember the other one, but he's, he's played over well overall in the mm -hmm. match. Yeah. It's going to take experience for him, you know what I mean? Like this might be his seventh or eighth major tournament. Yeah. None of these. You'd have to be extremely prodigious to win one of your first 10 to 15 majors. You know, everybody goes through that learning curve, just yeah. developing skill-wise and developing mentally. And yeah, he's, he's getting close for sure. Yeah, because his technique is good. I mean... You can see that he worked a lot. Yeah. So. Back with the second ball break. Yeah, it definitely it's definitely an asset to your arsenal when you when you're able to to break really good on the second ball because it could be really useful if the table if the tables are tough. Yeah, if you happen not to make one, you still have a chance of your opponent not yeah. running out. Yeah. He hit it thick, but good result. A little bit. See the replay here? See how the six goes across one rail into the yeah. side? That's actually a wired ball on the second ball break, too. Sometimes the very corner ball can go in the corner, or Absolutely. sometimes that second ball can cross over like that. Absolutely. So if he gets, you know, if he gets that going in any kind of consistency and... Never mind how he's playing. He looks dangerous to go forward yeah. in the tournament. I feel like he'll have to win two more tomorrow to qualify for the final 32. I think so. But he's looks, he looks in good form. Yeah, the field is pretty tough. You, know, you yeah. only have 96 players. So. You got to produce that these, th this type of match every round, right? Yeah. You know, To guarantee any kind of good result. Yeah. What about getting rid of the five ball right now? Because the five ball is really tough to reach. Because if he plays the one and then the seven, the seven to the five is, is going to be a little bit tricky. I agree. Yeah, and the seven, seven of the ones easier than the one to the seven. Yeah. And or he has or the seven position. Seven of the five, pardon yeah. me, sorry. He has the position on the five to get back where he is now. Or maybe to go one rail across in between the 15 and the 7. Yeah, that's it. That yeah. That's a good choice, I think. A little bit of weaving to do from the 7 to the 8, but it was always going to be like that. Lots of traffic from this end of the table to the other. Mm. Ooh, got too much angle. Yeah. And can't really avoid running into anything here. If you can go to the left side of the 15, then the cue ball will go further towards the 10 and maybe passes the 10 to, to reach the 8. Yeah, he's looking at getting into the 15 on the left side. Yeah. Well, that's tricky because it depends where you hit the 7. Yeah, he Got hit it. into it, but not yeah. enough. He hit it a little bit too thick. Well, it's going to be one more chance for Tate unless 
Labudis pulls off a 10 percenter here. Mm. Yeah, see, he hit it a little bit thick. The angle was always going that way. I think he tried his best to force yeah. it to the left, but it just the cue ball was going too far to the right. Try to measure this one up within 30 seconds. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> Hit it on the right well, side of it. Yeah, good try. I actually left the cue ball really far away from all the rest of the stripes, but the eight's in a safe spot. Yeah. That was really a good attempt. He's okay to try this because the cue ball is yeah. not really going to end up in a spot where Lapudus is going to have a good chance at the eight. Still not quite in line, kind of tied up the 10-15, but the cue ball is going towards that stack right now. I don't mind trying to play into it here. Yeah, and it takes away a lot of pressure from you when the eight ball is in a safe spot. Yeah. I love this view. Decided not to mess with them. Mm. The, the 13 goes on the side, so yeah, and the 10 actually goes. They're all close together, but they all do pockets, so that's that, this play's good as well. I don't know if the 10 passes the 12. I think it does. I think he, he wanted to play the, the run out like this if it didn't. Backing off of it now, though. Hmm. Oh, he's going into it. Wow. I'm surprised he wouldn't have gone into it a couple shots ago if, those, if it didn't go, but nice shot there. Yeah, that's good. That's good cue ball control. Sure. Guess. Sometimes eight ball look lo looks like a rotation game. Yeah, when the when uh, it's only one set of balls on the table. Yeah. And now he has to go for the eight. I think the cue ball is tracking between the side pocket and the corner pocket. Yeah. It's kind of a stun and run through. Maybe even natural. Yeah, maybe you can go directly to the to the short rail. I don't know. Oh, it's not out of it yet. Mm -hmm. his, yeah. his break, winter breaks, don't forget in this format. Yeah, actually, one small mistake by Pius. Yeah, too much of an angle of that seven ball and. One of his first mistakes in over about five games. So it's yeah. It's not easy staying focused consistently. Sure. For yeah. like an hour, an hour and a half. Especially when you got to get small angles on every ball, right? I mean, that, that that's yeah. the difference there. You know, if he's a little bit if he's a little bit straighter, he's fine. Yeah, and as you said, it's not happening that much in nine ball or in ten ball because you play a zone, mm -hmm. a bigger zone, let's say, than in eight ball. Didn't get any separation from the middle of the rack there. Yeah. That's he, he got one, but I mean, got yeah. ten balls kind of stuck up in the rack here. It's going to be a tough run out. The that's that's the, the risk. Wasn't good, yeah. Yeah, that's the risk when you cut it like that. You know, it's like yeah. 
you're just you're not really hitting the rack full, so you're gonna you're gonna have breaks like this sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, that happens a lot actually. But he still made one ball. He did, yeah, he yeah. still at the table. And the solids open up quite nicely. I have to get rid of that nine ball. That blocks. I think he's gonna lean stripes here. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is you have many balls in bad spots, like the 11 ball, even the 12 and the 15 are not in a good spot. I wonder so if he can get on the 15 right off the first shot here. He's trying to. I think he's perfect. Yeah. Great shot. Yeah, that's a great shot. Nine's got to go before the 11 here, but that's very manageable off the 15. Yeah. He delivered a good stroke on this one. Slight bit of concern. I mean, he's just he's, he's, yeah. he's waiting for his next chance, but oh. then the ten is giving him the eleven, but yeah, he has to get in good position on the twelve. Yeah, if he gets straight on the twelve, he'll be he, he'll be in a decent spot for the rest of the rack. It's almost like a step shot. Huh? Yeah, good angle to get straight. Bit angle going to the left, but he can hold it. Yeah, it's okay. I think it's okay. The thing is, he's not going to be able to be straight on the 11. And then the 8 only passes the 4. So, see how we, how we manage to... Yeah, I think he'll be able to get straight enough. I know what you mean. He's going to come off the rail, but he'll just take yeah. the cue ball into the rail, take a little more cut angle on the 8. Yeah. Oh, he's worried that he got too straight here. This is okay. I yeah. mean, he's got to stun it, but I guess he, he wanted to roll this ball more than to stun it. Could cheat the pocket a little bit. Playing good speed. Ah, so straight that he could draw out of yeah. it. Now the more he kills the cue ball, the better. Slow touch there. Yeah, a little bit of a inside. That's perfect. He's going to stick with the same break for the rest of the match, you got to think, because he's actually had some decent success. He didn't really spread yeah. the middle of the rack as well as he wanted last break, but he's making balls. Out yeah. seven five, good run out. And we're going to go for a break here. We'll be right back. Back here at the World Eight Ball Championships in Klagenfurt, Austria. Joey Tate was down seven to four. Just won the last game to bring it back to seven to five. Got a tight match here. Both players have played well. PS has played exceptionally well. Joey's held his own as, as well.
crossed it over. It might have scratched, but got kicked out. Yeah. There goes the three. Yeah, it was offline a little bit, and uh, the cue ball was kicked luckily. Up by the he 13. was in the side there if, he, if the 13 didn't get in the way. Okay, a cluster along the long rail with the two ball, two, nine, 11, so. 515 is a little tough as well. Yeah, he has the position on the 15 right now. So maybe if, if he chooses the stripes. Yeah, I'd favor taking the 15 here and then and then getting a, a small angle on the 11 where he can open up the nine. That's where I would think, be thinking about starting here. Yeah. It's a tricky path to get through here though. You gotta miss the five on the way up and then you gotta get enough angle to get in between the six, seven on the way down. I'm wondering even if the nine ball is clear. I don't think he has to touch the nine ball. I think it goes. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. Yeah, from here it's hard to say, but. See, I think the nine ball goes. Oh, you're I mean, right. And it even goes past the 11. Yeah, too. so you just, have, you just have to play the, th the 14 on the side, and then he will be able to play the nine. Even now, he could play it if he wants. Yeah. Yeah, he has it, maybe. He does want to take care of the 14 yeah. going forward, though, so it's pretty sharp in the side here, but he's so close to it, I feel like he might take a shot at it. Yeah. Purposely yes. playing the outside of the pocket there to improve the pocketing percentage. It, he's not going at the nine though. Maybe I guess it doesn't pass the eleven. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's tough to say from here, but if it doesn't go for the for the nine, then can't be. So yeah. He's gonna have to. He's playing into it right now, probably, or has some kind of plan to open it up. Too straight here. Yeah. yeah, maybe you're right. The nine ball doesn't pass the eleven. Yeah, he would have shot it last yeah, shot if it, if it went. Dan is in a tricky position. This is rail first. Come come out two rails. Yeah, maybe. Nice control there. Didn't get quite far enough, but left himself enough for a bank. Got to control the cue ball really solidly here. Try to push the nine up past the two and shoot the nine in the long pocket. This is where eight ball is a tough game. Tell you what, I could maybe play the, the 13 on the side, get back to where he is now, and go back and forth to play the nine I ball. I was up. thinking about that too, yeah. but it must be just a little too sharp. Yeah, but I don't. I, don't I think he's he there. It. Yeah, I, I think he's there, and wow. you can you can draw back what over. I mean, it's thin, but I, f I feel like if you play with a f decent amount of right, you can draw to where he pointed his tip. Now, he got through this rack. What a great shot that was. Yeah. What a great shot that was. You're gonna throw the nine here. Got to be careful. Tough to draw it enough. Oh, he's in a bad spot now. I think the cue ball is beating the scratch past the side pocket. I think it is, but it's going to hit the point. Yeah, it's really maybe. hard to control. Mm, it's really hard to control. So tough that he's going for the bank. Looks like the one's blocking the angle, but it's obviously not. Yeah. What a shot. What a wow. shot. There we go. Great. Uh, it looks like it was it was on the 7-3 line. So it was a kind of automatic bank, but it's never easy. Great recovery shot there from yeah. Joey. Getting close to the end here.
hate to break as well. Is just giving him the slightest of opportunities and Tate taking full advantage, breaking and running the last two racks. Yeah, that was really a solid bank shot to close the rack. Nice. Nicely done. Purposely cutting the cue ball to the right here to give himself the best just the best chance to make the seven straight in the side. See if he's able to dial that in here. Yeah, you really want to try to make this ball for sure. I mean, on purpose every time, but it's tough to manipulate. Hit it, hit it well. Just got a yeah. little short on it. How's the rest of it? Not there. He hit it too thick actually to try to make it on the side. Yeah, kind of caught it more square. It was a good break. I mean, the cue ball was well controlled, but... Just missed the 13 in the side. Mm. But Labudis finally got his chance he's been waiting for. Table looks reasonably open. We'll see yeah. how the everything lined up to each other. There is a stripe over there which is blocked. The 11 ball is blocked by the 7. So maybe that's, a, yeah, but the 12 ball is giving him the 11 if he's got straight on it. So he could choose either group. Just going to draw and try to get on the three here. Oh, we tried to free the eight. Yeah. Unlucky to get a double kiss yeah. there. He can still make it without moving it, like directly in without a bank. He just got to plan out a ball that's going to get him on that small angle there. Could use the five for that, could use the three. At some yeah. point, he's got to move towards the seven because it's going to be a little bit tough to free up the cue ball from pocketing the seven. Yeah, true. He need a straight in shot on the three to go play the seven and two rails behind. Actually, the two balls in the bad spot. I don't think, yeah, it, it passes the side. Yeah, it passes yeah. the 10, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if it goes to the side, that, then. It's got some work left here, yeah. though. I want the cue ball to line up with the five. It's okay. Good shot. Still, the eight ball is high on, yeah. the, on the long rail. Um, you know, he's just running. He would have liked to. Well, he still has the five to get on it, maybe. have to get a pretty specific angle on the two to get back properly for the eight, but same goes for the five. I guess if you get straight on the two here, you could kind of roll through for the five in the same corner as the seven, and that would get you in a good spot on the eight. Yeah. That's what he tried, but he overhit it. Hmm. Okay, we choose to play the five and then play the two, maybe draw a little bit and cut the eight. I see that. I don't know if he can hold the cue ball playing the five to get straight in on the on the two. Oh, he's playing well, the two first. Yeah, well, oh. I saw this one too, is he kind of slow roll it. Well, this is tricky. But it looks like he has the perfect angle. I'd say he's good. A shot. Be nice if he can follow this. Get yeah. a little closer to it. Yeah. If the angle's going to the left at all, though, he'll have to kind of draw it. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, he's totally not happy, happy with it. Mm -hmm. 
looks okay, but it's going towards the, yeah. I was going to say, okay. I've, yeah. is the cue ball light enough? Whoa. Yeah. It's makeable, but <laughs> missable at the same time. Oh, he uses, uses the 13. Smart shot. Got it. Good match from yeah. the Buddhist. Okay, guys, that was our last match for the night. We'll be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Thanks for joining us for Ben Belhassen, yeah. Eric Korlefsen. Thank you, Rick. We'll see you tomorrow. See you.